Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the field of technology, the United States has long dominated the world. In order to prevent other countries from threatening its technological supremacy, the United States has set up technological blockades in key areas for a long time, and the world has suffered from beautiful for a long time. However, in recent years, China's rapid development has attracted global attention. A series of technological breakthroughs not only show the rise of China's technological strength, but also challenge the technological hegemony of the United States, especially in the aerospace industry. China is doing more and more brilliantly. Aerospace technology plays a pivotal role in international politics and economy. This kind of forward-looking technology is like the navigation technology two or three hundred years ago. Once developed, it will greatly strengthen national power in all aspects. Therefore, under such circumstances, in order to get rid of the constraints of the United States' technological hegemony, China has continued to increase investment in the aerospace field and has continuously achieved breakthrough results. Recently, China Aerospace surprised the outside world by announcing a major breakthrough in space power systems. This major breakthrough will further promote China's competitiveness in the global aerospace field. In the not-too-distant future, the United States is likely to lose its space dominance as a result. China has achieved exciting scientific and technological achievements. The 801 Research Institute of the 6th Academy of Aerospace Science and Technology Group successfully developed a space-closed Brayton thermoelectric conversion system and successfully carried out several system trials. This news shocked the world, and some foreign media couldn't help but sigh, in the blink of an eye, I didn't expect that China's aerospace technology development has gone so far. The principle of the Brayton thermoelectric conversion system is to use the heat generated by nuclear fusion to heat the gas and continuously generate kinetic energy and electrical energy through the cold and heat cycle. It is reported that the power of the Brayton thermoelectric conversion system has reached the level of 100 kilowatts. This technological breakthrough broke the record created by the United States and once again pushed China to the forefront of the world stage. Prior to this, China has developed large-scale spacecraft of the kilometer level. Today, with the successful development of the Brayton thermoelectric conversion system, it means that China will be able to manufacture nuclear-powered satellites and spacecraft on a large scale in the future and even establish a nuclear-powered space base. It is foreseeable that in the near future, it will no longer be a fantasy for China to have its own star fleet. The significance of this major breakthrough lies not only in technological progress, but more importantly, it has established a new position for China in the global aerospace field. Unlike the narrow-mindedness of the United States, China's goal is not to surpass the United States and compete for its supremacy, but to use space for the peaceful use of all mankind. Of course, the prerequisite for achieving this goal is to break the technological hegemony of the United States. Only by achieving curve overtaking in more and more fields can China play a greater role on a global scale and contribute to the well being of all mankind. Therefore, this time China's major breakthrough in aerospace is of great significance. Looking back on the past, we can find that China is actually making continuous progress in the field of satellite navigation. From once relying entirely on the GPS navigation system of the United States to today's BIDA, 3 global satellite navigation system, China's satellite navigation technology has equaled or even surpassed that of the United States in some aspects. The positioning accuracy of the BIDA system has been increased to 1 meter, enabling it to have extremely accurate and precise positioning capabilities, which is a leading position in the world. Although at that time, 
China had gotten rid of its dependence on the United States in the field of satellite navigation, it was still lacking in space power systems. With the continuous development of the aerospace field of various countries, the demand for power supplies of spacecraft is getting higher and higher. At present, most spacecraft still rely on solar panels to provide power, but this method has many limitations, such as the reduction of power conversion efficiency when it is too far away from the sun. Therefore, the space reactor power system with higher energy density and greater power is considered to be the most ideal power system to replace solar energy. The United States and the former Soviet Union began to study space reactors in the 1960s and successfully realized the application of space reaction power systems. However, although China also developed its own space reactor technology in the 1970s and produced the first generation domestic space reactor principal prototype in the 1990s, there is still a big gap compared with the United States. However, the emergence of the Brayton thermoelectric conversion system directly smoothed out this gap. This is how China's scientific research progress. After this breakthrough, on the one hand, China will continue to increase investment in the aerospace field and continue to promote technological innovation. On the other hand, China will play a more important role in international aerospace cooperation sharing technological achievements with other countries and jointly promoting the progress of the aerospace industry. Absolutely not the second, America. In this process, China will continue to promote key projects such as lunar exploration, Mars exploration, and deep space exploration, with a view to achieving more breakthroughs in the field of space exploration and turning interstellar immigration into reality and China will continue to pay attention to the possibility of developing and utilizing space resources. As the Earth's resources are gradually depleted, the development of space resources has become an increasingly realistic choice. China is expected to play an important role in fields such as asteroid mining and space solar power generation, providing the Earth with precious energy and resources. With the blessing of extraterrestrial resources, China's energy will not be a problem. In the long run, China will actively participate in international space governance and jointly maintain a peaceful and stable space order. China will advocate a concept of space governance centered on cooperation and sharing, actively participate in and promote the formulation of global space governance rules and standards and strive to play a constructive role in space security and the prevention of space conflicts. China will continue to support and promote international multilateral and bilateral cooperation, uphold the concept of a community with a shared future for mankind, and jointly build a beautiful space home. All in all, China's major breakthroughs in the space field demonstrate its technological strength and contribution to the global space field. This achievement not only enhances China's position in the global space competition, but also provides a new opportunity for the peaceful use of space by all mankind. Looking into the future, China will continue to increase investment in the aerospace field, promote technological innovation, actively participate in international cooperation pay attention to the development and utilization of space resources and participate in international space governance. These efforts will jointly promote the development of the global aerospace industry and lay the foundation for all mankind to build a beautiful space home. If you agree with this video, please like, follow, comment, forward.